Welcome to part 20, the final part of Gamma Story. E Series Data, beginning search. Accessing data. Hot shelter. E Series location confirmed. Unlocking hot shelter sector now. Ah, one of the benefits of being one of Eggman's robots. We can hack into his systems remotely and control things to a limited degree. Of course, the good doctor would still have primary control and can override at any time. Now, that music that we heard during that cutscene, I read somewhere that it's supposed to be the new music for when the egg carrier crashes, the new hub world music. But instead, they went with the tried and true egg carrier threatening music that we hear all around. That we are currently hearing right now. I mean, I kind of understand uh, that, um, well, the egg carrier is no longer a threat. But at the same time, in a way, it still is, uh, if you get what I mean. Um, or maybe I'm just pulling things out of my head. Here's your laser blaster. Its blast damages enemies in a wide pattern. Yep, we got our final upgrade in the game. It's almost over. I, 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 it just really hit me. It, this is almost over. We're almost done with this game. Wow. Yeah, I mean, since uh, Gamma was coming back to the A Carrier anyway to uh, get the remaining E series, I wasn't worried too much about having to go back and get this upgrade before hunting down Epsilon and Delta. I mean, unlike Amy, who... I mean, we had to come back to the egg carrier before going to uh, final egg because if we go there after being final egg and it will trigger the cutscene that will essentially end a Amy's playthrough I mean I mean do you really need that hammer that long hammer well I, I imagine some people do yeah anyway we're in gamma's final level hot shelter and be honest at this section just just don't go just don't do what I do here just ignore the bathrooms with, even though there are bad nicks and you can get time I feel it's like a waste of time really because they're just so out of the way I mean the only reason you would kill bad nicks is to get animals so that you can feed them to the chow yeah you know that whole uh, Give a chow an animal and it will take its traits so that it can improve on things like racing and who knows what's it, it's fighting and yeah. <clears throat> I'm still not doing the chow minigame. I'm sorry, I'm not doing the chow thing. I just want to get through this playthrough because um, I have other things to do and I'm backtracking or whatnot. So yeah, this is what ho Hot Shelter looks like after the crash. I mean, we've seen this before as Amy during a fully functional egg carrier and now that it's crashed you can see it's all damaged and not working properly and oh I remember you bridge I remember how you screw me over I'm gonna screw you over because I can fly so screw you <laughs> and that's why gamma superior alright now we're going to enter some new territory as soon as the door opens thank you very much now <clears throat> In Hot Shelter, during Gamma's playthrough, you really gotta lock onto as many enemies as possible to get as many chains as possible because, well, this game can really, uh, let me put it this way, this game can uh, screw you over if you don't take advantage of the chains with mul more multiple times and all that stuff because uh, the enemies here are more spread out as it were. They are not as frequent as previous stages. I think that's what the game has intended us to do. I mean, this is the last level, so it's pretty obvious that they're going to make things a little bit harder for us, but yeah. Now this section right here, I hate this section. I mean, you have to just stand here, you gotta wait for that claw to get you, you have to, well, time it just right so that the claw can actually grab you. And if you miss your timing, if you miss the timing, you have to hit the button again, wait for the claw to grab you, and be on your way. Yeah, 
And we have to do the same thing here. See? I missed the timing. You guys... Ugh, stupid thing. And it doesn't help that Gamma's old um, timer is uh, slowly counting down, because... I'm going to be fair, folks. This is where I died a lot, especially during this section, the train section. Yeah. So Eggman has a train inside the egg carrier. Two trains, in fact. How big is this place, anyway? I mean, it doesn't look that... I mean, it's big, but it didn't look that big from the outside, but... Is this thing a TARDIS? Ugh. Oh. Uh, as I was saying, because the enemies are more spread out, as it were, it, uh, it's, it's a little bit more dangerous. It'll be a little harder to get as many enemy combos, as it were. And this could really screw you over, especially in this part. Now, I understand this whole time limit thing because Gamma has a gun. He can shoot things. And for the most part, he's invincible. I mean, giving him a handicap such as the gun thing, uh, the, the time limit, uh, it kind of limits him. It, it kind of makes people sweat bullets. And in a way, I kind of see um, if Eggman designed uh, Gamma this way because um, he wants to fail safe if his robots ever go rogue and whatnot. Uh, that's a bit of fringe bu bridge built brilliance, as it were, but. And. Ugh. See? see I, oh! See, stupid train. See, I, I hate this part right here. I hate this. Well, anyway, we have to stop this train right here, and we'll be able to move on. Whew. I bought a bit of dust right here. <sighs> Again, blocking onto multiple enemies. Just... We're almost there. We're almost there. If you can get into the boss door with about oh, 30 seconds to spare, you can't stand a chance because, again, like the others, the boss is easy, but the Zeta is actually kind of different from the others. How different? Well, this different. He Wow, he's actually become part of the egg carrier. And all we have to do to defeat, to defeat Zeta is destroy the turrets. And yes, I know about the Dreamcasts that are a part of Zeta, so don't point that out, I know. And just like that, Zeta is defeated. And thank goodness the time has stopped to allow uh, Zeta to go boom. Thank you. And we're almost done. We are almost done with this game. Can you believe it? Even though Gamma is still a cool character. I, mean, I think, I, I mean, too much of a good thing is, um, well, it can be bad for you from what I hear, and it's nice to take things in small spurts, like Gamma's story. It Again, it's not as big as the others, it's not, I mean, it's short and it's fun, but still, we're almost done, and as soon as we uh, get up here, get back up to the surface of the egg carrier, we'll trigger a cutscene which will lead us into the final boss of the game. E-105 Zeta rescue complete. Units remaining. Gamma. Beta. One more thing about the time limit that has always bugged me, it only applies to the actual levels and not the hub world. I mean, I kind of understand that if the time limit was in the hub world, Gamma would deactivate immediately or something because of no enemies, but whatever. Anyway, here's our final boss of Gamma's story, E-101 Mark II. And as we can see here, Beta has gotten a little smarter, as it now has a force shield in the front, so Gamma can't just shoot him from the front. But his backside's still vulnerable. So all we have to do is just wait for Beta to charge at you, just get out of the way, and shoot him from the behind. And as we damage Beta more and more, it will shoot missiles at you, which can easily be destroyed. 
and Beta will teleport high above to shoot these lasers to try and destroy you. So overall, we, just, we have to actually use strategy in order to beat Beta once and for all. Now, here's the thing. Gamma was actually contemplating suicide. Even he realizes that he has an animal inside of him and in order to free this animal, he has to die. So, does Gamma commit suicide? Well, I don't know, really. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because after we take care of Beta, the cutscene will explain uh, Gamma's eventual demise. <sighs> uh, and Beta is obviously not destroyed because um, he still needs to be around to actually destroy Gamma. Gamma, or shoot him so that he can be destroyed. Yeah. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I am not going to I am not going to talk over this cutscene. I'm just going to let it play out of respect. Here we go. And thus, a great character has passed. Goodbye, Gamma. Your sacrifice was not in vain. With your death, you have freed the pink or magenta Flicky, which is one of Birdie's relatives. Yes, and that explains why Gamma decides to let Amy and Birdie go, why he decides to help the other E-Series free their animals. The, what it is is that the pink flicky somehow influenced Gamma's behavior and I'm guessing it's because of its flicky nature. Also, how strange is it that uh, both the pink flicky and the gray flicky are both on the egg carrier in their respective E-Series robots? I mean, that would explain how they were there when Amy and Birdie arrived supposedly sometime after the Gamma Beta fight, so, yeah. And here's the thing is, even though Amy does not see the destruction of Gamma in this uh, game, she does see Gamma's death during the Sonic X adaption of this game. And I do have to, have to admit, it is a kind of a sad moment for Amy. It is really sad, yeah. And with Gamma's popularity, um, they want People want him back in some fashion, so that's what prompted Sega to create E-123 Omega. Now, speaking of which, um, Gamma's uh, death in the Archie comics, it's actually pretty interesting when you think about it. <clears throat> First of all, Gamma did survive the Sonic Adventure adaption. He spent uh, some time going around the world destroying Eggman's robots, and eventually, Gun took notice. So they sent Shadow the Hedgehog to try and recruit Gamma into the organization. At the same time, Eggman sent E-123 
E-123 Omega to destroy Gamma. And needless to say, um, it's actually a pretty enjoyable issue. I should review it sometime. Now, Shadow gets taken out of commission uh, for a good portion of the issue, allowing a nice little quick cat and mouse fight between Gamma and Omega. Now, while Omega has superior firepower, Gamma is very good with stealth. Now, eventually, Gamma realizes that Omega would be a better fit for Gun, so Gamma allowed Omega to destroy him. But before uh, being destroyed, Gamma uploaded what he essentially calls his free will code into Omega and giving Omega a true personality. Yeah, I mean, it's really a cool way to die. Have, it's kind of a nice way, you know, passing the torch and whatnot. Pretty awesome. Anyway, Omega now having the free will code decides to say, screw Eggman, I'm out of here. Although, to be fair, before that, Omega was frustrated that uh, it was not he was not allowed to destroy Santa Hedgehog. Eggman wanted the opportunity for himself. And, jeez Louise. And with a true free will code, he can break away from Eggman, and, well, he, he goes on to join Gun, and eventually with Shadow and Rouge form Team Dark. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty cool. And I'm sorry if I'm talking over the credits. I mean, usually I don't talk over the credits because of lyrical songs, but Gamma's theme doesn't really have any lyrics, as it were. It's just a bunch of mechanical, cool so sounds and stuff, but... Yeah, again, get, this is Gamma's story. This has actually been a fun get little thing. It was fun shooting things, so it was fun going around being an actual robot. And uh, we're almost done. We have actually one story left to complete. And uh, with that, I shall leave you to um, well. I'll leave. I'll leave you, and I'll see you in part 21 for uh, well the beginning of the last story. Until then, bye bye now.